Yeah, I think, sorry, I have to tab out to start the recording. I think Flesh Arena I like best here. So I think the, the strategy that I have now in my head, looking at like the patch notes and look at the stuff, I thought Kaisa was pretty big buffed, but apparently a lot of people feel like, um, a lot of people feel like Fiora is a lot better. I don't know. I think Fiora is really good, but I don't think like either unit, like it just depends like, obviously I think Fiora got buffed, but it's hard to tell because to me it's like, oh, she got a hundred health. And it's like technically like that's 10% more health. So, you know, if you think about it one way, it's like she lives 10% longer. That sounds like Omega broken, right? But when I look at it, I'm like, it's only 100 health. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, it's, I don't think it's enough. Like, like, it's definitely good. Don't get me wrong. But it's not enough to, like, you know, Giga contest into it, right? Uh, Earth, TF, Poro, Asol. So this guy's like, this is what I mean. I think now there's going to be strats like this where it's going to be like fast niners. Ooh, it actually might be rough. The The biggest downside to fast nining is that you don't get to roll for upgrades, but in Rat Town, you get a bunch of free shop refreshes. So you can rush 9 and then get a bunch of refreshes on 9. Ooh, Asol in this lobby is actually really bad for me. Uh, but yeah, we default towards challengers, I feel, is a good idea. Um, and try and play strong board early. I mean, I'm not playing this Kale ever. Juggernaut or something? I have Challenger, I have Dark, and I have a Night Harvester. Am I slamming a Night Harvester ever? Probably not. I need some direction with my items. Hopefully, I can get something that I kind of like that I can slam early. Ugh, I don't like any of these. So, I'm hoping to get build up by Augment. Some Gold Lobby, Defensive Dash, I don't think is that good. I can choose an artifact and that can give me direction, which I think is my best choice here. Dedication. Oh, dedication. Okay, what do we have? We have Tome. And he got Piltover. Frequent Flyer. So he's going for Fawn, Riftmaker, Level Up, Bruisers. I mean, I should be uncontested thing. And I'm just gonna go Portable Forge though. Oh, these are both so bad. Okay, but this is pretty good on Kaisa, I think. I think I just take the Kaisa item and run. Oh, I didn't get to put her in the back row. Oh, I misplayed that. I took too long. It took too long reading and looking at the lobby. I don't get punished for it because this nobody's targeting my dude. But, you know... Like, do I want a win streak here and night harvester it? Man, do I just lose streak into it? My gold's gonna be pretty bad. I probably want another upgrade before I slam anything. Oh, hello. Mia Paisano. I mean, I can play towards this. Do I play towards Noxus maybe? I mean, I'm not making Econ this turn anyways. What is it? Six gold, eight gold. I could make Econ. I can sell these ashes. I don't really want to slam Night Harvester, though. I kind of don't want to slam Night Harvester. So this guy's going the full Piltover build. Uh, I don't know. This lobby's looking a bit awkward. I need to see if some I need to properly see if someone's pivoting into challengers. There's two guys that I don't know the direction of really well. Cause then I can just, I can itemize towards challenger, but I might pivot to strategist, but I think there's a guy that looks like he's going more towards like an AP instead of an AD comp, right? The reason I don't want to slam too early is because like, for example, if I make this into a Night Harvester and then I get a bow, I'd rather have a Titans in a lot of cases for Fiora than a Night Harvester Fiora. But I also want to prioritize Bloodthirster, which might not be the thing. Oh, I win this? Nice. Okay, maybe I can play Strongboard now, because next turn I'll be level 4. I can put in one more Challenger. I can play 4 Challenger if I hit 1. Oh, it's Lucky Shop, and I have Challengers in. I only hit 1 Warwick, though. Oh, wait, it's Lucky Shop. It's not... I thought it was the one that... It's not... It's Rat Town, so it gives you Lucky Shop. It's not the one that gives you, um... The things... Like this guy's frequent flyer. I don't know if he's going challenger or not, but it doesn't look like it. He's definitely not going challenger. He can go anything he wants. This guy's not going challenger. I, I feel like I'm uncontested challenger, right? 
So I want to like just play strong board, right? Is this Cassidy? He has Cassidy two already. I guess it's fine because lucky shot, but mm, I don't think I win this even if I slam item, right? Maybe I win this if I slammed item. I think I win this anyways, maybe. My Nefari's still alive. Yeah. yeah. I think I win that anyways. I gain a bunch of gold. How much is gold mancer's max thing? One ability power per gold in your bank. Up to 30 gold. So I want to be at 30 gold. Right? Which is fine. That's like a that's like a stable econ spot. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for bow, but I'm probably looking for cape. So bow or cape, I think is both good for me. Okay, bow was taken. I go for cape here. Um, I go for cape, but it's across the, the lobby. I'm gonna fake it out so it doesn't look like I'm taking it. Okay, I take cape. So I have bloodthirster, I can put on a frontline unit and that can support me into middle game, right? That's my that's my rough idea, so to speak. Uh, are we going for Samira three? Probably not. So what frontline unit do I want to put a Bloodthirster on? I can put it on Samira uh, as well, and I could just remake the Samira later, because this makes me with like enough econ, right? I think I slam the Bloodthirster. I can also slam the Night Harvester, right? Because Night Harvester is not that bad on Kaisa either, right? I'll slam the BT. Just give me some extra AD. The Piltover guy should win for free. The Piltover guy is kind of scary, but I gotta make sure that I that we abuse the health, right? We gotta make him really low health, right? The guy that's going fast nine might not be super strong, but we gotta make this like as like me losing one unit as well is also bad, right? Ideally, I want to lose like no units. I want to be like so strong that I just like wax him. You know what I mean? The reason is, is that we want him to be as low health as possible because we want him to like randomly die to somebody even after cash out. Because the cash out is going to be giga strong and we want to pressure him to cash out early, right? If he's like really high health. Ooh, are we going Irelia 3? Irelia 3 isn't even that good. But if I get it for free, I get it for free, right? Do I want to preserve my streak? Who beats me? This guy might beat me. This guy might beat me. Oh, this guy definitely beats me. I think there's too many people that beat me here, so I don't think I can preserve it. Maybe I'm wrong in that assessment, but I don't think slamming the item is going to help me. And then I'm selling either Cassiopeia or the Jin or both. It might help me with this fight though. I think I don't win anyways. Can I read this? What do you think chat? No, I definitely I don't even think I don't even think item would have helped me there. Cause I just have no front line. Okay, I don't have to sell anything because I hit my econ threshold. I'm at 30 now, so I'm at max gold mancer. I don't think I beat this anyways, it just kinda sucks. I think I think everybody hit with their lucky shop a lot of pairs, and for me I already had my units paired. So it didn't really help me, right? Like me having these extra Aurelias didn't matter. All it gave me was like a Warwick. Which is just, it's just the way it happens, right? So like, I would have been a really strong board earlier if like, you know, without everybody else. Also, this is not really just a grief. Really, it might just be a grief. I probably want to level just for odds in case my lucky shop gives me something. I'm going to pump it. That's a jeweled gauntlet. I think I like jeweled gauntlet better for Kaisa, and then I can just greed this for Fiora. I think I don't need Irelia 3. I just want to hit Econ. I can maybe. I, I think it's more important to find a Samira to replace my, my Samira than it is to, uh, Playing towards Kaisa, four challenger. I want a juggernaut in. But I don't have one. Bruiser, rogue, gunner. 
it's on. I think this is strongest board right here. I put adaptive on Warwick. I'm trying to play strongest board because I just wanna I wanna stay strong right now, right? I've I I've, I've, I slammed items. I don't want to lose too much health. I want to be strong because there's a Piltover player in the lobby. I, like you know, preferably I don't want to drop below like 70, 80 health. Right? This guy's giga strong. He's level up and he hit a Velcos, so he's just stable for a while. They nerf Velcos a lot, but it's still like a two star, three cost. Right? And I only have one star units. Right? So I'm still gonna get railed. Yeah, I'm already at 70. This might be bad if I lose streak into this because if I if I end up like 50 health by the time I roll on seven, I don't want army building. I don't need to honor roll, bulk or small forge, recon bob. Recon bob's too risky. I would I would have done if I had a three star maybe. So I think I just take small forge. It's a juggernaut. Shove this guy in, small forge, titans. I'll put titans on this guy. Um, is there anybody I can sell? I can sell Nafari, but I'm probably gonna sell this Irelia if I need to. Do I sit on this? I can sit on this board and then I can just push levels. 40 gold, I can level on, um, I can probably level after carousel, right? Four rounds. This guy's going bruiser rule, that's fine. I don't think I beat him, but we'll see what happens. Is anybody pivoting towards challenger? This guy's still... I need to double check after this round to make sure. Because sometimes you can get an augment and they can just decide that they want to pivot now. I should have scouted last turn, but I'm just more focused on making sure my board looks good. Because it's still early patch, so I'm, I'm not like fully comfortable. Also nice, I get some more gold mancer value. I'm gonna have a lot of gold. I think I hit seven first here, right? I think I'm like well above pace in terms of lobby. Okay, so this guy's tilt over 20. He's he's gonna greet it because he's so low. He's so he's not even that low health, right? Uh, this guy's this guy reconbobbed into a Jarvan two, and he's just playing multis off of it. That's great. I love that for him. But nobody seems to... Like, look at the Piltover guy, right? Where is he? He's not even lowest health. He's 70 health. There's guys with less health than him, and he's 20 streaking. Oh, I guess he took Tiniest Titan, so he gained plus 30. Man, that sucks. He kind of high-rolled it. Because imagine if he was 30 health lower, he would have been like 40 health. He, like, now he can greed for a whole stage. He can hit like a 30 charge cash out. It really values me here, chat, if Lucky Shop is late in the round. Because if I can get to level right after Carousel, like if, if Lucky Shop doesn't happen next turn, and I have one turn, I can push level and have my Lucky Shop hit when I'm on um on thing instead. Okay, there's a Kaisa which I can grab. But there's also a Void guy, so you might grab the Kaisa first. Okay, no, I get the Kaisa. Unless this guy wants it, he doesn't. I take Kaisa. It's Kaisa with sword. It's not that bad. I have all my items already. I can just make one more item for Kaisa with sword. Probably Shojin. Oh, I feel like I'm in it with this Kaisa. Getting a Kaisa here is big because lucky shop. I might be able to hit Kaisa. Um, I might be able to hit Kaisa too really fast and then stabilize around that. I am kind of low health, but I do have a lot of money. Okay, sweet. No lucky shop. I just level here. And A gangplank. I'll probably just play gangplank for fun. Then I'll sell these. Level up this guy. I can sell Irelia. I'm poor challenger. I'll put it on this guy. I'm gonna sell him. I'm just playing flex. 30 gold. Gold Nancer, I think, maxes out at 30, right? Up to 30 gold. The gangplank's a bit high roll, but um, he doesn't quite fit into my board, but uh, it's fine, right? 
I want to be level 7 early, chat. The reason I, I sent it a little bit is because I already have the Kaisa, which is something as good as like hitting on um on a level 7 roll down. I have good items for her. But I'm rolling early because if Lucky Shop, see it hits now, I'm hoping for Fiora here and I complete my board. <sighs> like fuck, I don't even have Rogue in. I can understand the set. What? Why am I getting... Oh, because of Gunner, I guess. Fuck, I don't, I don't hit the Fiora. I was hoping for at least a Fiora, but I guess a Kaisa pair is fine. I have a lot of board space. I need to find Demacia units is the real thing. This guy is reroll. This guy is just playing his Piltover board. That's fine. Oh, am I going to cash out the Piltover guy? Okay, I don't play him anyways. I have to pay attention now. because if the, if the Piltover guy greeds too hard, I, can ca I, I don't want to be the one to cash him out because I'm greeting for my board. This guy's void reroll, and he has he's contesting with Kaisas, but we both have two of them. Fuck, he's every oh, I'm falling behind. Did I misplay the early? Before it comes back, I just want the econ. Okay, I'm gonna have to resend it on seven here. I could roll up to eight, but I already have like a lot on my board. I need the Fiora to stabilize. I need my my other units. I think. I want to roll maybe on neutrals here, because this guy's going to roll as well, probably, for the Kai'Sa. Oh, sick. A Jarvan is good for me. I'll send it after this. I have a Poppy in case I really need to play Poppy, but I'm going to have to play Poppy over Gangplank, which is going to suck. I can also push levels here maybe, but I think that's a bit greedy. Okay, I got this, so I don't need Poppy anymore. Crown Guard maybe. Like this, 4 Challenger, 3 Demacia, Fiora items. I have Shoujin for Kai'Sa as well. And then I can crown guard somebody in the front row. I don't know, I feel like this is better than having set. Piltover guy cashing out into check. That guy has a zero two already. I could also push levels here if I can sit, but I really I'm Kaisa paired. I really want to hit. Uh, Cybernetic leech. Know your enemy. I don't think I want leech. I already have my items. I don't need Pandora's. Like this will give me some more juice. Three's a crowd. Fuck, I have no combat, which is pretty bad. I hit my Kaisa though. Spark. Shoujin, Spark. I don't know if that's the right decision. I'm too many units paired. Now I'm paired for I don't have Juggernaut in, which is a bit scary. I gave this to him because I kind of just want him to cast because my Kaisa has a lot of power. Being Fiora paired is awkward because I really want to roll for this Fiora instead of going 8 because I'd rather just get strong now. I think I roll for Fiora here. I have Gold Mancer, so it's like... And then when I level up, I'm leveling up for a Juggernaut. And then I can swap out... <sighs> It's a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward in it. <laughs> Watching some British thing. Okay, lucky shop. Give me some. Give me a Fiora, please. <sighs> like, what the fuck? This is so bad for me because I'm not every lucky shop that I'm hitting. I'm not hitting units that I need, right? I'm hitting like units I already have, and other people are are matching my power. Like this guy hit his Kaisa through lucky shop. 
right? It's like, well, shit. It's like, I need to hit other units because I need to be strong enough to beat out some of these capped boards. Right? Like, how do I phrase it? Like, other people are going for three-star low cost or they're going for, like, two-starring their other stuff. This guy's 16. He didn't cash out. Oh, my God. If I cash him out here, this is going to be so bad. I should have rolled. Come on, Fiora. You got it. You got it, Fiora. Uh... Come on, Fiora. Oh! Oh, let's go. Oh, he flew too close. Oh, let's go. It wasn't me. Oh, I feel so good about that. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay, now it should be a lot easier the game. The Piltover guy's gone. I need Fiora 2 though, I think, before I can go 8. Do I even have Warwick 2? Yeah, I do. Is this a Gangplank 2 angle? I can get Gangplank 2 maybe. Challenger Gangplank 2 if I hit a Challenger plus 1. I won't hit a Challenger plus 1. Fuck. What's my last item? Probably just this frontline item. I put on Jarvan, a Sunfire anti heal might be good. There's a Cho. There's a Cho in the in the team. So I know Crown also got nerfed. I don't know if it's good to put on him. We'll see what happens. Nice side Fiora. We have a Heimer. Jar this was a. This was better than my lucky shot. Okay, 48 to level. I could slam a Sunfire on somebody but i'm gonna have anti heal with heimer now right so i could just play heimer also this irelia i could just swap in nefari right isn't nefari better than irelia surely Sixty-seven. i can go to eight next turn i think i just hit fiora two so i feel like i'm strong enough to go eight i can go eight play heimer Call it a day. Play for top four. Don't have to play for first. This guy has the morning light, which is a bit scary. It's like the best Cassidy thing. Come on, Kaisa. Come on, Kaisa. Oh. This is Nico. It wasn't even the Cassidy that was the problem. It was the Nico. That's okay. There's so many people that are 1 HP, which is the problem. Like, these guys lingering might just hit like a Giga Strong board and then come out from the grave. Right? But I think they're kind of capped. This guy's strong. He has Velkos 3. Azir. Nobody's going for a 3 star 4 cost. This guy has a board as well. 48 to level. I'm greeting these items because I'm like one off the next round. I think that's fine. River King, Challenger, Demacia. I level up, I play Heimer, I think. I'm just capping around having certain legendary units. If I can, I could put the Shoujin on him if I get the chance. He has Nasus too though, which is scary. But no items. Jarvan dashed backline, which is good for me. Fiora's at full Titan stack, that's good for me as well. It's all down to if my Fiora can live long enough in the back. Yeah, I think we win this, if Fiora live long enough. Woo, okay. Okay, we're a bit low health, I'm a bit scared. This guy shouldn't be able to hit because I already have two Jarvins and I'm probably going to hit. But it, all, it comes down to lucky shops a lot. Like some guys can just win off lucky shop this lobby, right? I was saying before a lot, my lucky shops haven't been super great. Put this in. Put this in so that I can level up the turret in the next rounds. I don't think I'm going to 6 challenger this game because I'm not going to play these shitter units, right? So I can sell Irelia if I don't hit anything. I play besides I think I just lose the gangplank I think Aatrox is just better it gives me juggernaut it gives me everything I want a Meccano but I also want to stay above 30 
Oh my god, I took away my Radiant item. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's so bad for me. Hopefully this guy's weak, but I don't think so. Oh, he's weak. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I didn't get punished. I didn't get punished. I forgot with the Jarvan and the Radiant items and all that shit. Man, I almost... I, I could have got really badly punished there. But thank God my lobby wasn't... Uh, the guy, the one guy I've placed, uh, the one guy I faced is one of the weaker of all of them, I think. This guy's the rogue board. Just going reroll because everybody's brain rotted. Okay, this. Put a sunfire. I mean, he could hold my sunfire, okay? That's fine. Put the item back on Fiora. Put this here. One gold though, uh, is this better than anybody? Usually you play uh, Nasus. I can hold the Nasus though. It doesn't really cause me any econ loss, right? I'm just playing this board. Okay, I think I beat this Kassadin board now. It didn't change from the last time I played. He has one more item on Nico, but now I have like a lot more stuff. I don't know if this was the right play. It might've been better to put this not on Heimer. That's what I felt. I felt like that would happen. Uh, do I have to hold anything? He's not close to Tarek, but he's close to Soraka. If I see a Soraka, I can hold it. He's not close to Nico, but I could start holding stuff and griefing. But it's lucky shop anyway. So like, oh, we have a Belveth two. He's not close to any three stars. He's close to Jarvan. He's three off Jarvan. I can't really do anything. Am I ever going 9 here? I might not. I might just roll. This guy is... He's not going to get Kaisa because I have too many, I think. Right, it's already too too hard for him to hit. This guy has Jarvins as well, so I should be fine with the... He shouldn't be able to hit. I can sell this Irelia now. There's almost zero chance I'm ever playing 6 Challenger with this board, even if I level up. His Kaisa doesn't have full items. It's just his Vel'Koz as the carry. Oh, everybody's low though. Yeah, he's just stronger than me. And this is even a clone. Is this a fifth? It might be a fifth. Oh, it comes down to this guy. He lives with one HP. Cause I, I this isn't the guy with Belveth too. I don't think. Bastion. I just want like frontline, right? Ah, oh, Redemption was probably it. Should have taken Redemption. Hold on. <sighs> Should slight roll a little bit. Can't roll too much though, because Goldmancer value is going to be lost. I think it's kind of chalked, no? It all comes down to... Oh, I'm top 4 anyways, right? Is there anything I can do about positioning here? Not really. I should have taken... um. I should have taken an item to put on Jarvan instead. Also, my, my playlist stops. Sorry. Distracted. Okay. Yeah, it's not close. Because he, he has 3-star everybody... And this is is Rift Herald's too too strong, right? I really, really, really need like I, I can win with Aatrox too, right? Because I was playing more for tempo, right? Like I'm not concerned with going first. I wasn't really playing for first this game, and that's something you really have to ask yourself, right? My lucky shops were pretty bad, right? I'm not close to three starring anybody, and a lot of times I earned my units from rolling and not the lucky shops. Right? And that's what I was saying, right? Like this guy stabilized so hard because like his lucky shop gave him the Kaisa. Right? And his lucky shop gave him like Belveth and like because he's going void reroll, lucky shop's really good, right? I'm not I'm not slagging him for that, right? He, he didn't play it's not how do I phrase it? I'm not upset. Like he, he played the game well and I just lose because of external factors. Right? Like I really need like a Heimer too. I need some kind of sauce, right? My board has been the same for like multiple rounds now. So I'm not getting any stronger, right? And I can't really change any units, and I can't really afford to go 9, because I'm the lowest health in the lobby. 
right? So a lot of this is like survival now, right? Nice. See, like this guy I beat 100% of the time, right? Oh, I'm Aatrox paired. Aatrox 2 would be huge for me. But I can't send it to zero because I'm too scared with my gold mancer value. Like I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose 30 AP. 30 AP on Kaisa. It's quite a bit, right? I can't really just afford to say GG send it. My only hope was to roll for Fiora 3 maybe. Like if I'm close to Fiora 3, I'll send it to zero, but. Protector's Vow is probably good on Jarvan. Really? I got it in time. Okay, I can tell Heimer I'm at 30. I'm not gonna hit Heimer 2. This is my strongest board. If I beat this guy, maybe I can live long enough to get third. There's no way I'm 3 starring any 4 cost being 1 HP, right? So I just need to like play my strongest board this turn. Hope I beat this guy in particular. And then hope that I can live against somebody else maybe, right? Yeah, I beat this guy. For sure. Boom. Okay, so now we're both 1 HP, right? There's three of us that are 1 HP. I can squeeze out, right? This is like a value bet. I can squeeze out. If I play this guy, it's like whoever plays the Void guy just loses. I think I could beat both these guys. Ah, now he has Nico 3. Maybe not. Do I want my turret to live long? Is the real question. He has another Kaisa too. Something like this. I have Aatrox 2 now. Maybe Aatrox 2 does some stuff. I have Slayer on him. I just don't have items for him. It would be nicer if I had items. Oh, I'm playing the Void guy. I think this is the one guy I couldn't beat. I think I beat both the other dudes. Which kind of sucks for me. Cause I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a heavier loss here than the other guys. That's just bad matchmaking. I go fourth. I could have easily gone second this lobby. Cause none of these guys are gonna take as bad a loss. Cause these two are both like piss weak. They're weaker than me, right? I'm stronger than both of them. Uh, if I just play my early game a bit better, I think I win out. Right? Like, look, this guy. He's gonna die, but he's not gonna be six. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. Let's see. Oh, I finished third. Okay, we'll take a third. I won the tiebreaker. Yeah, we'll take a third. I don't know, it's, it's wishful thinking, right? I think that's fine. It was just unlucky at the end.